Hey everybody, and if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this bomb, wash and go. Don't go nowhere. All right, everybody, I am on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. Have my hair in I don't know how many sections. And we're gonna start off using the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner with green tea and argan oil. And what I'm just gonna do is just put a small amount after I smell it in my hand. Uh, it's a very light fragrance, nothing too overpowering. So I'm just gonna move some of the hair out of the way. And I'm gonna start right here in the front. And this is my hair with zero product. Zero product, just freshly washed and deep conditioned. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the leave-in in my hand and massage it in, making sure that all the ends are covered well. Um, there's a nice slip to it. And once again, the fragrance is not overwhelming. So it's not anything that can give anyone a headache, that's for sure. Split that section in two just to make sure that the leave-in conditioner is also in the very center of my section. I'm just going to move this section out of the way. I'll put just a little bit more in that middle section there, making sure that every strand is covered. So basically what I'm gonna do is use the lock method. So right now I'm just gonna pour a little bit of oil in my hand and gonna put it in that section and just use any oil of your choice and of your choosing. And I didn't need a whole lot of it. And next what I'm going to do is get my squirt bottle and just gonna re-wet that section again just to make sure that I'm able to evenly distribute the product throughout my hair. Smoothing it in, making sure everything is in there evenly. So now it is time for the curl bomb moisturizing styling gel with the nettle leaf and olive oil. It is a soft hold styling gel that gives curl definition and shine without the crunch. Um, the smell to this gel is a very, once again, very light scent. So I can't really put my hand on what it smells like, but just a very, very light scent. So here I am just applying it to that area. And as you can see, the curls are already starting to be defined put a little bit more on that area. The gel is kind of thick once you squeeze it out of the bottle, but once you put it into the hair, it glides on. There's a lot of slip to it. Um, but yeah, it, pretty go it goes on really, really well. I'm just trying to make sure that every section of the hair is coated. Making sure you get that back section really, really good. good so that is basically it and as you can see I'm pretty satisfied with the way it is turning out there's a curl definition right there and we're just going to just repeat these very same steps on the next sections
here we go. All of the product has been applied to my hair. Try and zoom in a little bit. But as you can see, there is definition all along, all along through the front. Uh, my crown area is always an area that's a little uh, challenging for me for definition, but we just roll with it. But I'm going to let my hair air dry, but as of right now, this is what it's looking like. So see when it dries. Okay, I'm back. Today is the next day. Um, I have not looked at my hair. I've let it just totally air dry. I did not stretch it at night because my hair was still really wet. So I just threw my bonnet on. So I probably have a mushroom head up under here. Yep. And it's still wet. Shoot. In the back. Yeah. Um, this is for the uh, TGIN. Thank God it's natural curl bomb moisturizing styling gel. Now it does say a soft hold and it definitely is a soft hold. Um, I see no flakes. There is a lot of definition on my sides. I don't know what the back looks like, y'all tell me. It's still wet in my roots there. It's not really defined a whole lot for some reason, but I can still work with that. Um, there's a very, very light, light crunch, but there's still a lot of movement to the hair. Um, but it is re a really defined curls everywhere else. I have different curl patterns all throughout my hair. The front portion is an area that is normally the front portion and my crown portion, this part here, are the parts that don't define as well as the others, as the sides and as the nape area curls really, really well back here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, yesterday, there was a very light fragrance. I smell nothing now, but overall, um, it looks good. Minus this area here. <laughs> but as I mentioned on the other video, I've been liking the big fluffy look lately. I'm kind of, you know, going through this journey, having a really nice wash and go, really defined, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, it is defined. It's fluffy. Um, shine wise. It's okay. It's not gleaming, but it's it's. But I'm under this light too, so I don't know what it looks like under natural light. Um, but I do like it. Look at all the little curls. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a diffuser and try to uh, stretch this a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have stretched my hair somewhat. I got rid of the part. Um, it's still a little damp. I didn't because I don't like using a lot of heat on my hair. However, I like it. I like the way it looks. Now the clumpage for this gel, um, it curled your hair, but I'm not going to say it really clumped certain sections where you had to really separate them. It wasn't any of that. So, I mean, there are just nice curls throughout. Um, I put a little oil on my hair to break the, sm the um, small gel cast that was there. Um, let me turn around. Like I said, I don't know what the back looks like. I haven't even looked at it. Okay, so this is the use of the TGIN, um, the Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner with green tea and Oregon oil. Use it as my leave-in and the Curl Bomb Moisturizing Styling Gel with Needle Leaf and Olive Oil. So, yeah, this is how my hair is looking and I really like the way it looks. Yeah, so, um, if you 
guys have um, ever used this product before, let me know your comments. How did it work for you? Did you like it? Um, and how did you feel about the um, leave-in conditioner? But overall, I like it. I like the way my hair looks. I like the fullness of it. Now, if you're looking for something with a firm hold, it clearly says on here, a soft hold. A soft hold. So just beware of that. So if you're looking for something with a little bit of fullness, which is what I have been liking lately, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely it is a go. Um, there's a lot of little curls, not a whole lot of curl clumpage, but they are nice to find curls. Um, before I put the dryer in my hair, I really didn't have any frizz other than right here at this front part that I had mentioned. And that's why I just kind of swept this over and gave me a little, a little um, fake bang here. But before I put the dryer in my hair, there was very, if any, frizz at all. So that's always a good thing. So, yeah, so TJIN, get two thumbs up. I do like it. Um, so thank you all for spending your time with me. Um, if this is your first time joining into the channel, welcome. Please do not forget to thumbs up the video. Definitely do not to, uh, forget to subscribe. Uh, you all have a blessed holiday. Be safe. Eat plenty of barbecue because I know I plan on doing exactly that. And I will see you on the next one.